Good morning. Um, it's our dream, actually, to try to create a sustainable city. At the very beginning, we were talking about um, livable city, we're talking about carbon reductions of low carbon city, and then we're talking about sustainable city, make everything sustainable. Um, and this, this is our dream, actually. Um, and we try to do a lot of things. Of course, we, we are facing some challenges and uh, problems and issues, of course. And the most important thing is that you need to get the momentum from citizens' participation, and that, that's the key. Um, in Taiwan, uh, we believe there's a culture, um, it's like to cease to believe. Um, unless we see something solid happen, uh, we're not going to believe you, we're not going to buy you, because you are politics. You know, we don't trust politics. That's, that's what's happening in Taiwan, this, uh, this idea, this concept. Um, so when you're talking about um, sustainable city, definitely face, face some issues and the problems and challenges. And it's our dream and potential. We want to create actually a clean city. And we have a main river here. Uh, water is a precious resource. We want to use that resource uh, effectively and efficiently. Then, you know, there's a carbon effort, a reduction effort, of course. Then the goal is to create a sustainable city. Um, you know, the, the definition of sustainability, of course, people have different um, definition about sustainability. Uh, basically, uh, habitable environments and then sustainable economic development and appropriate use of resources more than just reduce, reuse, and recycle. I mean, appropriate usage of resources. When you say uh, how to obtain a sustainable city, you're talking about clean air, clean water, uh, clean environment, uh, eco friendly buildings, they talk about green buildings, of course. Organic farming, biodiversity, healthy and livable city, eco-friendly transportation, uh, so-called green transportation, uh, renewable energy, recycling and reuse. <coughs> See, this is the river bank. Um, bear in mind this picture because our river bank was piled with the garbage before. It was seriously polluted. Um, unfortunately, we need to spend a lot of money trying to clean the garbage out of the river bank. Also, we, we build man-made wetland, help us to clean our sewage water, and been proven effective, very effective. Also, we invite those uh, you know, birds and fish uh, to come back to this habitat. It's proven very, very successful. I'll show you some numbers in the species uh, later. It's a healthy and clean city for the children and for everyone. This is our river bank. Clean water, you can see boats, you can see people riding bicycles along the river bank. It's a very, very nice and clean place. So people can go outdoor to do exercise. So people don't have to stay in the house watching television and uh, you know, eating uh, some uh, snacks, gaining weight. They can go outdoor to exercise. Um, and uh, people love to do outdoor exercise more and more now. You can see the vehicles um, there, you're talking about electric cycles, bicycles, electric vans, hybrid cars, and the MRT or subway system. This is what we call the green vehicle. In Taipei County alone, we have around 3.1 million vehicles, but we only have 3.9 million residents. Okay. We have more than 2.2 uh, motorcycles in this area. So what we plan to do is to introduce green public transit system. If people use this green public transit system more, they don't need to drive that much. They can drive less, or they don't have to drive at all. If we build this uh, green public transit system here, and it, it, it's what we're doing now, actually, we're going to have some electric buses um, serve the public uh, in December, this December. And there's our solar um, renewable energy. 
garbage reduction. Garbage is always a problem to every metro area, especially in Taipei City and Taipei County, because we have too many residents. So we need to reduce garbage. Um, what we, we did was like, um, the first stage was try to separate garbage into three categories. Uh, recyclable and uh, food leftover, or the garbage has to be sent to the incinerators to be burned to generate electricity, of course, at the same time. And we were uh, uh, introducing this new policy on the second stage, that is pay as you throw. And in the past four years, we reduced the garbage by 50%. 50%. It's very difficult because people need to participate. People need to believe in this policy. People need to build up this, this idea and the belief and actually change their lifestyle. They try, change not to you know, create that much garbage daily. It's like changing their habits. It's very, very difficult at the very beginning, but it's very successful now. Um, you know, in Taiwan, we have 25 cities and counties. Only the city of Taipei and the county of Taipei are implementing this policy. And these two cities and counties are the only two constituency reduce garbage significantly. Okay, and these are the problems we're, we're facing. Um, I've mentioned. And see the, the pollution. Around 25 of Thai, total Taiwan factories are registered or locations in Taipei County. They're talking about one quarter of the total factories in Taiwan. Uh, so this is a big number. So actually, we form a task force. We go to those factories, help them to have clean air production. That means you, you use less, less input and generate less output, including carbon dioxide or some kind of waste. It's like an integrated approach. You can actually just do one, take one activity, uh, action, one action alone. You must do uh, everything in every aspect at the same time. So people see results, uh, positive consequences that people believe in uh, that. You see the volunteers, how many volunteers we have in this county? 100 thousand volunteers participate. They're volunteers. We don't pay them for doing this. But they believe in this. So they want to join us. And even for patrolling the river, we have 762 volunteers. They patrol the river 24 hours. See what happened before and after? One interesting uh, thing is that um, after we clean this corner, people stop littering in this area. See, this is what happened. That's Katie. The first to act 